Okay, final one from the chapter 5 material. Um, you're just going to uh, plot another graph, but this time it's not a straight line graph, right? This is going to be a curved graph. It's an x squared. Notice before, uh, in chapter 3, you would do a lot of things like this. y equals, let's say, 2x plus 1. Okay, remember where 2 was the slope and 1 was the y-intercept. So no x squareds in this one. This has an x squared in it. Okay, so let's see how we can deal with this one. Right. Okay, now you're just doing a table. The table's here to fill in. Look, when x is negative 2, it gives you the information to put in. Right, what's negative 2 squared? Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So 4 take away 4, that is 0. Okay, so remember, you're putting a negative 2 where the x is. You've learned to do this before. It's not a hard one. Okay, I put a negative 2 where the x is and then did the rest. Okay, 4 take away 4 is 0. How about when I put negative 1 where the x is? What's negative 1 squared? Isn't that 1? Positive 1. What's positive 1 take away 4? That's negative 3. Now, the easiest one of the lot is always when x equals 0. Because when x equals 0, that's not there. y equals negative 4. Okay, so, uh, so when it's 1, right, so let's go back to this again. How about when it's 1, when x is 1, what's 1 squared minus 4? Well, that's the same as when we had negative 1 squared, because either way, this is still going to be 1 take away 4, which is negative 3. Can you see? It's the same as that one there. Okay, how about when it's 2? When x is 2, so when x is 2, what's 2 squared? That's 4, take away for another 4, you get 0. So again, can't you see that that's the same as that? Okay? Because when you square either negative 2 or positive 2, you still get 4. Right, now we're going to plot these. Remember, these are ordered pairs. Negative 2 on the x, 0 on the y is that point right there. Okay? In fact, I think what I should do, I hope I don't erase the, uh, the graph. <gasps> I did. Edit. Undo. Okay. I should really put some points for this, so they're not too big. Okay, how about negative 1, negative 3? Right, negative 1 on the x, negative 1, 2, 3 on the y. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, I'm going to put a dot this time. The crosses are too big. So that's there. How about 0 on the x, negative 4 down the y? 0 on the x is right here in the middle, negative 4 down the y. Let's go down to there. The graph's a bit big for this, actually. Scales would have been better, different scales, so I'm going to fit it on. Instead of doing a little graph on a little drawing on a big piece of graph paper. How about positive 1, negative 3? Right, I'm going to go positive 1, negative 1, 2, 3 down the y, okay? And finally, 2 on the x, 0 on the y is right there. I'll tell you what, I might as well put another cross there because can you see these are matching? You can see now there's one on either side. And let's draw them together. Now this is a curved line. It's going to be hard for me to draw. We there, back up again. Ooh, not too bad. There you go. It is a U shape. Okay? You'll find that uh, if you do, do go on and can do more of these, remember you're just plotting some points, put them on the graph paper, okay? And just draw the thing. Now, you might find there's another one here. Now, you're going to find that this one is going to be that way around. It's got because of that negative in front. But, you know, try it yourself, put some point, points in here, draw the graph, okay? But that's what you'll see on the test, okay? Put some x's in, find the y's. These are just ordered pairs, and there it is, just graph, the U-shaped graph.